guys, I'm author and journalist Meghna Pan. I hope that you're home and safe during this lockdown. And now a lot of you have been messaging me and saying that you have managed to finish your manuscripts and are looking to get published. So first of all, my heart is congratulations. And let me tell you that this video is about how to self-publish in the digital age. Now why am I talking about self-publishing and what is self-publishing? Self-publishing, as is implicit in the name itself, is a format by which you, a writer publishes their own book. Uh, why do you do it? Uh, a lot of writers find that once they start approaching mainstream publishers, uh, their books are rejected. And this is nothing to be disheartened by, guys. Uh, the rejection rates in publishing are 95%. That means that out of every 100 manuscripts, that a mainstream publisher gets, they're only going to accept or consider five of them. So please don't be disheartened. Some of the world's greatest writers like J.K. Rowling and Stephen King have also faced rejections. It's par for the course for any writer. But what this does is if you have been rejected by all the mainstream publishers, uh, you will have to then self-publish your book. Now what does self-publishing entail? I'll take you through all the steps. But first let me tell you, what are self-publishing platforms that are available to you in India as of today. So you've got, uh, for English language books, you've got Amazon's uh, KDP, that's Kindle Direct Publishing. You can simply upload your manuscripts and it'll get published in a matter of seconds. You've got Package Publishing by Penguin. You've got The Right Place by Crossword Bookstores. Uh, you've got Motion Press, Posi, Kobo, Smashwords, Google Play, 24 by 7 Publishing. Um, also, if you're writing in regional language, language books, you've got Daily Hunt and Mathu Bharti and academic books, you've got Scholargram. So these are all the books that are available to you. Uh, these publishing platforms offer everything from, say, uploading your manuscript, which is KDP you can use, to actually all the steps that are involved in publishing, from printing to marketing, uh, to distribution, to the pricing of your book. So you have to decide as a writer, what is your publishing journey? Do you want somebody to handhold you through the entire process? Or do you want to self-publish by yourself? So if you first decide, as a writer, as an individual, what works best for you and then you decide which platform you want to use. Okay, now which will be to my next step which is what are the steps that are actually involved in self-publishing. The first thing of course is you have to finish writing a book, right? The second step is editing the book. Now once your manuscript is complete and it's finished, please make sure that you polish your manuscript. Please don't shortchange the book that you've written, the book that holds all your dreams make sure that you either give it to a professional editor and a lot of them have been listed in my book you can also find them online or ask a friend ask a family member to help you out and edit your book because you need that objectivity and you need that polished manuscript if you want to be taken seriously as a writer so do not uh, shortchange this part of the process it's very important to have a completely ready and polished manuscript before you self-publish um, the third step and the next step that's involved is of course you have to typeset the book so you can use several uh, software tools uh, you know such as lulu or smashwords these are some of the tools that are available uh, then you have to convert your book into an ebook format uh, for which you can also use tools such as Fivener. Uh, a bunch of them also listed in my book please feel free to use any of them once you're done with that part you have to then uh, print the book now again Printing a book is an option that the writer has to decide. You either print on demand, that means that once your book has been ordered, then you print the book. Now this turns out to be slightly expensive, you can end up spending you know, 100 to 120 rupees per book. Otherwise, you don't want to spend that kind of money. What you can do is use the traditional forms of, form of printing, which is uh, a traditional uh, you know, off-press uh, printing platform, uh, where you print basically a bunch of your books, like 100 books or 1000 books. Now the downside to this is that if you don't end up selling those copies, they're just going to lie around at home. So you decide again as a writer what works best for you. Now once you've printed the book, um, you also have to decide the, uh, the pricing of the book. Now uh, the standard rule in publishing is that for every page of the book, you charge a rupee. That means if your book is 300 pages long, you charge 299 rupees for the book. And for ebooks, this is 60% of that cost. So please keep that in mind when you're pricing your book. Um, and the next step, of course, is um, to market your book. Now, that is where it gets pretty tricky. And this is not just for self-published authors, but also for traditional, traditionally published authors. Because nowadays, it's easy to get a book published, but it's very difficult to find readers. So you have to make sure that you're giving your readers some kind of you know, USP or something unique. 
uh, as to why they pick up your book over the millions of other books that are accessible to them. Remember that as a writer, you're competing not just with say Netflix or WhatsApp or Twitter, you're also competing with the 75 million books that are out there. You're competing with the 2 million books that are published every single year. You're competing with the lakh books that are published in India itself. Okay, so you have a lot of competition. Um, also remember that sales in India of books are not very high. To be a bestseller, you have to sell 10,000 copies. And do you know what the numbers are for 10,000 copies? Only 1% of books actually end up selling even that much. So please remember that 90% of books sell less than 2,000 copies. And I hate, uh, I hate bearing this news, but self-published books actually end up selling only 50 copies in their lifetime. That's it, just 50. Okay, so if you're going to self-publish, please make sure that you focus a lot on your marketing to increase your visibility so that there's some point to the whole publisher. In other words, selling 50 copies and that to just your friends and relatives is kind of you know, not really serving a purpose there. Um, make sure that you recover your costs also. Now, again, this gets slightly tricky. So I've done the calculation and for most books, you will, for self-published books, the average cost is rupees 2.7 lakhs. Okay, now how do you recover this? You will have to end up selling if you price a book at the average uh, industry price of 299 rupees. You will have to sell five to 7,000 copies just to recover your cost. So please be aware that uh, self-publishing is not always a means of making money. Uh, you might end up losing a lot of money. So be aware of this before you go in. That said, traditional publishing is also uh, defined by writers. It, they find it very difficult to market. There's not much money involved. The advances that publishers give you are as low as 50,000 rupees uh, for a new writer. So please be aware that if you're writing books, you're probably not going to make much money out of it. Okay. That said, of course, there are a lot of success stories. Um, you know that we've seen in self-publishing. Authors like Anish Tripathi, Ashwin Sami, Savish Sharma all started out as self-published writers. And they're some of India's most famous writers as of today. So don't be disheartened, uh, you know, uh, if you're publishing and self-publishing, please give it your best shot. And I wish you all the best. Uh, stay safe, stay home, stay happy, stay calm. See you guys all on the other side.